In Austria, in 2001, a three-year-old girl accidentally fell into a icy pond. There, she became lost beneath the surface for an incredible half an hour, and by the time she was found, she had no pulse and her core temperature was only 18 degrees. Furthermore, her eyes didn't react to light, indicating that her brain wasn't functioning either. Yet, a team of surgeons tried to save her. As part of their complex procedure, they would firstly crack her chest in half using a power saw. This would have looked something like this. Then, they would connect her heart to an extracorporeal membrane oxygenation system, a unit which provides support to both the heart and lungs. But that wasn't all. Later on, they drilled a hole into her skull to monitor and adjust her cerebral pressures. All in all, she was in coma for about a week. Yet amazingly, only two weeks after her accident, she was allowed to go home, and after 20 months, she was completely back to normal. It's miraculous that doctors could save her from such a near-death experience. Unfortunately, things don't always go as well. As you can guess, these medical procedures are incredibly complex, and mistakes happen all the time. In fact, it's estimated that medical errors kill between 210,000 and 440,000 people per year in America alone. This makes it the third leading cause of death following heart disease and cancer. Another study found that within the intensive care units, medical staffs performed on average 178 actions per patient per day. Now surprisingly, they only made a mistake 1% of the time. Yet, this still equates to about two severe errors per patient per day. The point is, because these tasks are so complex, it's very easy to make a mistake. So, what have people done to remedy this situation? One solution has been to use a checklist. Now, you wouldn't expect something so simple to work, but it's surprisingly effective. In one study by the World Health Organization, a surgery checklist was implemented in eight different hospitals in eight different cities. These items weren't anything groundbreaking either. Just stuff like checking for allergies, checking that the equipment is sterile, and confirming the patient's identity. Yet, the intervention led to a 47% decrease in deaths. It also meant a 36% decrease in major post-surgical complications. It's hard to believe that checklists could work that well. In fact, many doctors are actively resisting the use of checklists, claiming it to be a waste of time. This is understandable. Items like washing your hands seem so obvious, but perhaps this is why checklists are so important. With so many other things going on, it's very easy to overlook these basic steps. Later studies have found that the more of the checklist teams completed, the lower the rate of complications. Now, before all of this, checklists were already used in a variety of fields like aviation, workplace safety, and software engineering. But now, after seeing its success in surgery too, people have been trying to expand the use of checklists into more domains. For example, Nobel Prize winning psychologist Daniel Kahneman has suggested using a checklist of 12 cognitive biases when making a business decision. This includes checking for things like confirmation bias, which is when people ignore contradicting evidence. Now, it's not like these errors aren't known by people, it's just that we're not always aware of them. So here, a checklist would force people to switch to a more rational mindset when making a big decision. Now, just to be clear, there's no experiments that have tested if checklists would work in a more day-to-day -day situation. However, it definitely seems to help with complex tasks. So, where can you apply checklists in your life?